Yo. Yo, what's up? Man, what's up, bro? Yes, uh, I have been slacking. It's been like a month since my last video. Yeah, my apologies. But we're back. Not saying consistently, because I got a lot going on, but we're back. How y'all doing, man? I'm gonna be starting us off with a story time, a few story times. You know, I asked y'all to give me some ideas on Instagram, what y'all want to hear. So, you know, let's do it. All right, man, listen, man. So we gonna, first story time real quick, kind of a story time we're gonna talk about. I got one that says dreams and goals and plans. Right now, I'm a, I'm a videographer, working with Baller's Life, you know, Slim Reaper, Duke Skywalker, Austin Mills, Tim Carter, and uh, Zach Hoskins. We go travel, film, edit, upload it. But that's another thing. I want to actually be able to do this for a living as well so I can have some sort of other income coming through. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, you can't just have one. My goal slash dream would be to like be financially stable, not only for myself but for my family as far as my sister, my mom, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunties, my cousins, my immediate family mainly. But so that they have a way as well. So, Cause I want to be able to have my mom never work again. I'm sure y'all do too. I'm sure y'all do too. But that's also that's also a dream for me because not to say I'm feeding off of other energy, but I see a lot of YouTubers making their moms proud, buying them cars and stuff that they they wouldn't imagine that their son or daughter would ever buy for them. So that's something I want to actually do one day is to get my mom her, her dream car and get her out of any any problems she has. Whether it's finance, or no matter what it is, I just want to get my mom out of these problems so she can live rent free, keep a smile on her face every day, I wouldn't have to worry about nothing. Uh, first eye opening moment. Uh, I've had a few of them, but not exactly opening my eyes the way I needed them to be. There was there was a, a couple situations where I was like. I was I was very young, <clears throat> and then the first thing I, I knew was that friends, people would come and go, and it didn't carry on until I'm just seeing people leave out my life like flies, like it's nothing. You gonna have that too, people. I'm sure you you gonna you gonna have that too, but it was most of the time the way people leave my life. I'm not chasing nobody. For one thing, I'm not chasing nobody. Understand that I'm not chasing nobody. You want to leave, go. By all means, go. But it's the way it, it's the way it happened. There was I had a I had a friend and she been my friend for like since like seventh eighth grade. And really, I was I, I was there for her more than she was there for me. And it was like Valentine's Day and. She bought herself an anklet, and we went to we, we went to a little hotel party for my friends' go away party or her birthday or something like that. So I was like, "You don't got nobody getting you a gift? Well, all right, whatever. I'll pay, I'll pay you the dues. I'll cash up you the dues for the anklet. That's your gift." She was like, "All right, all right, cool." Like she was she was saying thank you and all that, and I was like, "Okay, maybe you know what I'm saying." After that night, bro, never heard nothing from her. Nothing, nothing. I was just like, bro, am I doing something wrong, bro? You can post on your story, post on Snapchat, can't respond to a text, can't answer a call when I absolutely needed you like the most. And I was just like, yeah. So you can call me about your problems with, with dudes, but you can't answer the phone when I, when I need you for something, like ask you a question or something like that. It, it, it kind of hit different, so I was I was just I was just in that mindset. I was like, dang. Well, now I know you gotta watch your back because not everybody's in for your best interest. You know what I could have deal with that, bro? It was like a hundred and twenty dollars, bro. And then it broke like two months later. Like, bro, I I literally did almost everything I could to make this person happy, just to receive less than half, just to receive less than half. You, like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's so many people in this world that are for your best interest and most of them not. 
So watch your back. Watch your back, bro. Please watch your back. I never really got my heart broke before. I can tell you about a. I could, I could tell you about a relationship that was kind of. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about all of them. Shoot. My first, my first somewhat relationship was in eighth grade. I, I went, we both went to, we went to two different schools, but they were both magnet schools that were like connected in a way. And the funny thing about it is that I went to school with her in fourth grade. And then after that, never seen her again until eighth grade. And then we saw each other at a school dance. She was like, don't I know you from somewhere? I was like, you do look familiar. After that, we started talking because it was like, dang, we went to the same school. It's crazy that we found each other again. So eventually we didn't rush nothing. Like adults should, we, we didn't rush nothing. That was kind of weird. And then I forgot who initiated what, but we just started dating at one point. And then it was like, after the like a bus ramp, if you know what a bus ramp is, it's like a transfer station. Once we got there, that's the only time I really got to see her. I didn't get to see her outside of school or nothing. So it was like a hey, hug, and text type of relationship. Cause like I said, we barely got to see each other. So it was like, you know. But that one was actually a good one for me mentally because she was always there for my best interest no matter how old we were. She was always mature. We didn't argue or nothing like that. So I you know it kind of hit, summertime hit, and that's when we was like, we should break up because we're not going to see each other at all. And we were going into high school. So it was, you know, really no point in talking anymore. But hey, it happens. Next relationship, junior year. I was, I was, I'm not going to lie, I, in between the times, I was trying to get in a relationship, but I, I couldn't, I don't, maybe because I was just ugly, but still, like... <laughs> Uh, junior year hit and it's kind of weird the way it was kind of similar the way we found each other like 8th grade so it was homecoming my junior year it was her sophomore year and I forgot what song was playing but we eventually found each other we dancing and stuff like that and then um, next thing you know after homecoming like I didn't see her for another like 2 days like in school I didn't even know she I never even seen her ever before at school until like I noticed her and she was a friend of a friend so it was like oh I was like oh dang how you doing like you know, I like you don't see me after that one time she walked away like every period she saw me she came up to me and I was just vibing on my own I had my headphones in I wasn't even talking to nobody it was one of those days like you know what I'm saying and it was that same day that I first seen her. After that, she would just come up to me every day, like, like bumping into me on purpose and then just trying to get a conversation. I'm like, bro, I'm just walking, bro. I'm just walking. So, I'm not gonna lie. It was about like seven or eight months that we actually was talking before we actually started dating. That was actually a good, that's actually a good time because you would rather her be your best friend without thinking about her being your girlfriend you feel me so it was like it was like seven eight months into it of talking and then it was like it's crazy that it was valentine's day that we actually started dating because i actually be my girl on valentine's day and, but it wasn't because it was valentine's day it was just like it just felt like the right time because her i'm not gonna lie to you her parents are cool and all that but her mom was like very into the relationship like very like it was it was almost like a three-way relationship. It was good up until like, say about a month, up, up, up until like a month. And she used to come to my house like every other day after school. There was a couple times where she like, she would do things intentionally to piss me off. And I wasn't for it. And so that, that was like initiation of starting arguments every day. Almost every conversation we had, was leading to an argument. It made me not want to talk to her at one point. It happens, you know what I'm saying? Arguments are normal, but when it comes to every day over little stuff, that's when it's like a little, ah, like, bro, like, why, why are we, we're getting old, you know what I'm saying? So, that was, we was, there was one time, it, it was dumb, like, we was on the phone, we was on FaceTime, and then she was, we was talking about, like, old jobs. I had a, because I used to work at, like, a, a summer camp, 
I mentioned how one kid was like bad, bad, like bad. Like he barely listened until we started talking about calling his mom. She thought she was like, I don't think he's bad, more bad than her little brother. Then I was like, uh, I don't know, you haven't really seen him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna say that. I just said that and tried to leave it at that. And then she brought up the higher stakes. I forgot what exactly she said, but she just kept going. And it was like, bro, I was thinking about it and I was like, bro, we were going off for like five, 10 minutes. I was like, bro, why are we arguing about how bad a kid is? Can we like, and my mom like, can we just relax and just think about that? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's like dumb. So like a week or two after that, right? I'm, I'm peeping game of like, she seemed a little down. Like all week at school, she seemed a little down. And I, I'm telling you now, I asked her, I was like, are you okay? I was like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. Tuesday go by, same thing. Wednesday go by, I didn't ask her because I barely seen her that day. I think I think she was, I don't know, I don't remember what, but she wasn't at school the next day. Long story short, Friday, she, like, it was one of those days where she went to my house. I tried to give her a hug, and I was like, hey, how you doing? She seemed a little down. So, but she was just standing there, and she was like, she was talking to her friends, and then as soon as I walk up, she walks away. Mind you, she has to go to my house. My house. She has to go to my house. At this, like, at this very day, she had to. Like, she couldn't go home because of some some other reason. That's not my business to tell. I'm, I'm sitting here walking behind her. I'm like, so you're not going to say nothing. Since she going to hit me with that all week. She said, all week, I've been trying to see if you're going to ask me if I was okay. I've been testing you all week. And you haven't once asked me if I was okay. I was like, I asked you two days in a row you weren't here the next day and I asked you yesterday what are you talking about I, w I was like bro are you serious like come on now bro this is this this is just wild after like her mom eventually got into it and she was just on her bro she was on her dome bro she was snapping it, it, it was just like after that like I, after hearing that I was like yeah I can't do this no more I'm sorry you got a lot to learn. You're young, I'm young, and we're doing too much arguing for a relationship. So maybe one day we might get back together, maybe not, but just not right now. After that, it was over. Third relationship. 